What is going on guys? Chris here from Bodyboard Holidays and this week we've come to the gorgeous Costa Rica which I'm really excited about. Now uh, I flew in late last night and with these trips we always stay in this little place called Alawahu or Alawahu or something just outside San Jose before we make our way to the coast. Um, so I didn't think I'd get up to much today but I've been actually having a look round and this place is cool, like a wicked place to stop if, if you need any bits or something before you go off to the coast. So yeah, a nice little square to look at and it really gets you into that kind of Costa Rican mood straight away. And just chilling out in this town, it's, it's, it's a nice little bonus to the surf trip. I think there's a museum actually, so I might go and have a little look over, over at that. But um, I'm going to be doing more of these vlogs this week, obviously. Excuse that, lorry. Um, so tune in, catch up with us, find out how we're getting on. Hopefully we're going to get some good waves tomorrow, go and pick all the guests up and take them over to the coast. So yeah, until then, catch up with us tomorrow and uh, yeah, laters. Hey guys, well welcome back. Well, we finally made it. We made it, picked up the last stragglers from the airport and we made our mission over to the, over to the coast. It's actually pretty sweet. We uh, got a nice ferry and then got off the ferry, drove through this beautiful jungle and now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to go down, check the surf, and uh, see if there's a few little waves to ride. Not a bad life, really, is it, Fab? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh la la, says Fabian. Yeah, it's looking good. Well, that was super fun. So nice getting in the sea. I didn't obviously go for a surf, just went for a swim with these guys, but I think we're going to get up super early in the morning. So tune in again, catch up with us then at literally dawn, and we're going to see if we can find some waves. What's going on, guys? So we're back from the beach. It's only about 10 o'clock. Feels like we've been up all day. The alarm went off this morning super early. I was like, what are we doing getting up this early? But actually, fully worth it. Got there just about as it was getting light. Gives us our first chance to see some of the uh, some of the nice clean waves of Costa Rica. No wind in the morning, no crowds, so brilliant. Everyone had a good surf. Everyone's buzzing. I think it's just a really good feeling being out. Get in the surf, get out, get some nuts, have some water, chill out, get back in the surf. Just cool. Get down the beach and just and just do all your surfing early. It felt really good. Anyway, I think we're going to get some breakfast. Not sure what's on for today. Maybe just going to chill out, go down the beach again this evening for a sunset session and uh. Do it all again tomorrow. Actually, I think we've got a bit of an adventure plan for tomorrow, so make sure you tune in and find out how we're getting on. What's up, guys? Welcome back. But today was a sweet day. We did something a little bit different. Obviously, this morning went and got some waves. But then this afternoon we went inland from the coast a bit and cooled off with this beautiful waterfall. Trekked along the riverbed and yeah, just went swimming and, and I had a really sick time. Check these shots. Yeah, it was such a cool thing to do, you know, get out of town and just go and do something different, cool off in, cool off in the river. But yeah, we're back in, I think Maeve's going through some duck diving practice with some people. But uh, yeah, catch up with us again in the morning. Sure, we're going to go for a surf and find out how we're getting on. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Oh, how's that feel being shown right. up by your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's not here. Oh. <laughs> What's going on guys? We've just got back from the surf. The swell dropped off a bit today, but there's still loads of fun to be had out there. I wanted to talk to you about something a bit different today, which is where we're staying. So if you come with us to Costa Rica, it'll give you a bit of an idea. So it's this really cool little place, which is set back a bit from the sea, and it's literally like being in the middle of the jungle. When you're just sitting there, you can just see the wildlife right around you, from lizards to, you might even get a troop of howler monkeys come through. We stay in these wicked little bungalows, and it's really comfortable. There's a nice big chill out area as well with Wi-Fi throughout the whole thing so you can you know, catch up on emails and whatnot. Beautiful pool for cooling off in the middle of the day. A yoga studio as well if that's what you're into. And then our chef prepares us three gorgeous meals each day with the, uh, with the evening meal on the highlight. Loads of things to do as well, nice bar, pool table and all the rest of it. So yeah, it really is a great place to stay. You've had your surf, you've been out for the day, you come back and it's a great place to unwind and relax. So anyway, catch up with us again tomorrow and find out how we're getting on. Laters. 
What's up guys, as you know by now we're here in Costa Rica and Costa Rica prides itself on being the most eco-friendly country in the world. They're doing their bit. The question is, what can we as travelling bodyboarders do to do our bit? Luckily we're joined by Bodyboard Holiday's very own Captain Planet, Matt Davis, and he's going to let us know. So here are a couple of uh, travel essentials to minimise our impact. So first up is reusable cutlery, so we can avoid disposables on the plane or in hotels etc. Um, Eco-friendly wax, so we're not putting any toxins into the ocean. A reusable cup, great for taking coffee to the beach. Again, minimise use of plastic. And a reusable water bottle to save on plastic water bottles. Well there you go, there's also some other cool initiatives out there as well, like Tidal Revival, the mobile app that rewards us for picking up plastic on the way back from the surf. So another wonderful organisation, Mossier, check out their website if you want to offset your, your flight so when you travel, um, they'll plant trees for you to do so. Well, what's up guys? Sadly, today was our last day in Costa Rica and what a trip we've had, as I'm sure you'll have seen. We had great waves, adventures, great wildlife. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm going to really miss these early mornings. Great trip had by all. I think everyone had a fantastic time. Oh, it was awesome. Great waves. They come again. Um, I've done Bali, I've done El Salvador, Costa Rica. Uh, I think I'm going to do Portugal next. Uh, the trip was amazing, Costa Rica is amazing, it was well organized, both the instructors were incredible. 10 out of 10 would absolutely would do, again. do it yeah. again. Yeah. Coming back? Absolutely oh, yeah. coming back. Oh, save, yeah. save us a spot. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go, that was it, Costa Rica, January 2019. It's not over for me though, I'm off now to, uh, to meet the director of Bodyboard Holidays, Rob Barber, and also Bodyboard Royalty, Jay Real and Vicky Real, to catch up with them in El Salvador. So tune in again, we'll be doing more of these vlogs. Uh, yeah, see you in El Salvador. Laters. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. You can subscribe to our channel here. Watch more instructional clips right here. And if you want to subscribe to our mailing list, then please check it out in the link below.